Hello, Fredlings. This is Claude from Chicago, and today we are doing somewhat of a new sort of thing. Uh, we are in Planet Coaster, and we are working on Fred's Wonder World. Yes, and this might be a series in itself, depending on how you guys like this. Uh, but today we are making a UFO. Yes, a UFO. Uh, we have a sci-fi area in Fredcraft slash uh, no wrong series. <laughs> uh, Fred Wonder World, and. We really need to fill in some of the gaps that are open. There's a lot of open area, and I'm really not liking that. So we're going to, you know, fill that area in with some uh, props. So this is probably going to be a series in itself. I don't want to do this on a live stream just because the live streams, it's a little crazy because <laughs> these take a lot of time to do these little props here. Uh, this prop itself took about an hour to do. And I really don't think it was going to be too exciting to do on stream because I have to really think about it. Look at some concept pictures and, you know, listen to music and just kind of just chill and enjoy. I can always, you know, take my time and, you know, make it look as perfect as possible. But what we are doing here, we are using art shapes and we are forming the uh, the hole, the, the main spaceship. And I'm trying to find a piece here, uh, you know, like the little glass on top and... I'm not really liking this. We'll, we'll change this out later with a uh, sphere because I didn't know there were spheres. Yep, there we go. And uh, we're going to change the color of that to make it more look like a glass shape. But if you guys are new here, uh, if you like the button, if you guys hit like and subscribe, that would greatly appreciate it and it helps out the channel so, so, so much. Um, yeah, if you guys really like this series, man, I'm, I'm probably going to do a lot more of these. And uh, there is also in the description, there is a playlist to the Fred's Wonder World series. Um, this is our first park on Planet Coaster. This is uh, technically my, uh, th this is our fifth, like this is in between five and sixth episode. So you won't see this done. But there's a lot of stuff I've been doing off stream just because, you know, it's very time consuming and, I just really want to focus, you know, our streams mostly building the coasters and doing some of the scenery pieces of like, you know, basic sort of things that we have uh, free props and, you know, that sort of thing. I don't really want to be customizing things because we, we did a we did a really nice spaceship on top of the space building, which is the great space ride, which we need to get a sign into. Maybe that'd be the next episode of this. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the spaceship took us about like an hour, an hour, 30 minutes. And I really felt like, you know, that's a little bit too much time uh, where we could spend more time building coasters and park management and that sort of thing. I try to do most of the park management, though, outside of the streams anyways. Uh, even though it is a sandbox, I, I do like knowing that our park is making money. But here on the UFO, I am making these little things. I, it was too basic just having the, the uh, quarters making the whole circle so i'm just making these things here i'm looking at a concept picture i'm looking at a couple of them uh, but there was a ufo i think for some tv show that came out and they crash landed it in 2016 i saw i was looking at that article specifically and that's what i'm kind of thinking here uh, but this ufo is going to be placed outside of the great space ride and it will be crashed into the ground and hopefully well we do add in police but i might do a little bit more detail work at the end but i want to spoil it too much but yeah so we're just kind of figuring out uh, you know what kind of what defines as a ufo because i've never really done a ufo space build before i really don't really do too much with space stuff other than you know me and zach playing minecraft and we're doing space stuff so we might have to build a ufo on there someday but now i'm looking through these sci-fi uh, pieces and i'm just kind of looking and seeing you know what could work and what can fit i need really small pieces here uh, we'll settle for some art shapes and in, in a second here but we need a little bit of like detailing blocks like right here uh, I do change the color. I think this color here is honestly just perfectly fine. We dole it out a little bit like it's been sitting in the rain and it's not as bright. Because it is going to be crash landed, so I don't want it to be like that's like the popping thing. It just really wants to, you know, uh, define, you know, just the building. Just not too much. And now you can see me here struggling trying to grab these pieces. I don't know why it was too hard, but I, I figured out you actually have to click on like the, the corner at the top to grab them. And then from here, we obviously just duplicate it and bring it to a cross. Uh, for people that are doing this at home and trying to do something like this, uh, uh, it's control it's control X, and then you uh, just have the advanced snap at 45 degrees and then turn it a couple times and then copy that again and then turn it again. Uh, here, I do find a sci-fi piece. It's like a little air vent thing. It's a little bit larger than this, and I really feel like it does help a little bit. Uh, we only make two pieces here because I've been watching a lot of Planet Coaster videos, and I'm 
it's just so nice watching other people play. I know a lot of them moved over to Planet Zoo, and maybe one day we will play Planet Zoo, but I bought this game about a year ago, and I really didn't have a chance to play it until a couple weeks ago. So I really want to, like really get into this game and kind of love it and then uh, when planet Co planet zoo goes on sale maybe i'll jump over there and play on that uh hopefully they do continue this series of frontier i do find another piece here as well like a little triangle piece um it's quite large so a lot of it is uh covered underneath this but yeah i'm i'm, I'm quite i think it's frontier yeah frontier that makes this game I, i'm very surprised it is not like any other sort of uh any sort of other roller coaster game it's so it's so awesome just to see we only have two dlcs here by the way if anybody's curious we have the uh the world's pack i think the world's fair or something not the world's fair it's the world where you get 10 different countries and that sort of thing and uh the movie studio pack so this really goes well with that because there's a lot of special effects and that sort of thing i think the movie if you love animatronics i think the movie uh, pack is very beneficial for you uh, now we move it over to the uh, great space right here we'll change the light a couple times and now i'm just trying to find the, the like the proper angle of this thing to be put into the ground and uh, I, I will try to change it a little bit but i honestly think i just leave it as is and right here i'm kind of like looking and seeing like uh, does that look good from the angle i don't know it, it looks fine it's it's really because for people that don't know I, i'm pretty perfectionist of how things go so i'm looking at some constant pictures of us uh, you know ufos crashing and by the way do you guys think there are real ufos in in the world i don't know uh right here i'm detailing the ground a little bit with like this dirt sort of thing like if it did crash land it would destroy all the dirt uh, we're gonna have to push in the ground a little bit to sort of get uh you know to actually make it look like that so i'm gonna have to repaint that here in a couple of seconds but it, it is looking really nice and if you have any suggestions on stuff i should build for space theme pirate theme a uh, love theme or anything you see in a live stream please let me know in the comment section down below uh next time we do this i'm going to try to read some comments to you know fill the time here and uh, see what you guys like in your suggestions and stuff like that if positive negative or just you know thoughts and questions you know that i can't really get on stream or i forget uh, i'll i'll read them off here uh in the next video so right here, uh, I couldn't find any of this police tape. I was really specifically looking for police tape. And then I came across, this is in the movie studio uh, pack, uh, these police barriers. Now, police tape would be probably something for a smaller bit, but this thing probably would have been quite large if it was a UFO. Okay, comparing it to this police car here that I make that will change a little bit here. Um, just comparing it to that, it is quite a large thing. So I don't think they would actually use police tape. I don't think they would have used this many barriers as well. And then we put a couple of police officers here to the animatronics to give us a little bit of detailing. Like, you know, they're looking at the site and seeing, hey, you know, what is going on here? Uh, maybe later we can add some biohazard people. I don't know if there is biohazard people. Maybe later we can also add in like an alien, you know, coming out the ship and maybe have like a little shooting scene out here. I kind of want to kind of keep it a little basic here, but um, our park for people that don't know, Fred's Wonder World is... Um, it's, it's lightly themed. It is uh, based off of another park that I did on City Skylines a long time ago on a different channel. And I felt like, you know, Fred, for people that don't know also, uh, he's our mascot, our icon, our lord of the channel. Um, and I really feel like that's why. And this part, by, oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted again. Uh, but this park's budget is sort of a Disney-esque theme. It's very, uh, very uh, high budget. I really want a high budget park, so when I do go on to more budget parks, we can uh, get in some sort of, you know, theming. So right here, I'm trying to figure out some sort of lighting, and uh, I feel like the police cars would roll up on the same side. I know that one police car realistically probably wouldn't be there. I just finished Pinewood with uh, Geekism, and it was a great series. And on the final episode slash live stream that was in his playlist, there was... Uh, I think it was, I'm sorry, don't quote me. I think it was Rupal. No, it was Mike. It was Mike. It was Mike. And he showed off the great lighting aspect of him. And I try to re recreate that here a little bit, but I was not able to do that. I, I have to like specifically watch a video by him. But now we are clicked back onto the thing. I probably should have connected all these things to the spaceship, but 
I didn't. And I want to put a little bit of smoke here, because I see a lot of spaceships, uh, even from pictures, they're just smoke, like it just landed, like three seconds before, like maybe an hour before, and it's smoking. So I'm looking for these animatronics uh, for the smoking, and now I'm looking for like a plasma explosion. I know there is one for the uh, shooting thing, and I think I think this honestly looks really well. Uh, later, we'll, we'll go through in change it up a little bit but i leave these things pointed out because honestly i'm not really the best at clicking these things yet so i want to leave them out just in case if i need to switch them on and off uh, in the future i just want a little bit of light theming there with the explosions and that sort of thing and yeah and that is pretty much the build right here and now we're just going to go into some glamour shots I hope you Fredlings really enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more Planet Coaster from me, there is the playlist of the entire series, live stream series, in the description. And uh, if this is in the future, there will be a link to the playlist of these little time lapse. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. See you next time, Fredlings.